back to Adobe Live. Yeah. Um, this is day three, our last day our last of UIUX design. I'm gonna miss you. Thank you, I'm gonna miss you too. <laughs> My name is Melody and I'm here with Hiba and she is the UIUX designer that's gonna be designing for us this week and it's her last day. So if you missed her, previous streams are gonna be on Behance and on YouTube as well. So you can definitely go check those out. Mm -hmm. And today, um, hi everyone in the chat. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, we're also gonna have a chat and win and uh, right after us, it'll be Christine and Howard. And then this morning at nine, there was it was Josh with Howard. And then at 11, right now it's Hiba and me. And then stay tuned after to see Christine finish up her designs with Howard. Um, and then yes, we also have a chat and win in about 30 minutes and you get to win 100 free custom stickers from Sticker Mule. So be sure to stay tuned and be active in the chat. Behance is back up. It was down earlier today, so sorry for the inconvenience, everyone. But we are back. Oh, freaking out. And yeah, so <laughs> yeah, just um, say hi. Let us know hi, where you're Emma. from in the chat. Hi, Ash. Hi, Bojana. Hi, Ahmad. Hi, hi, Voodoo. Hi, Jelena. Thank you guys for joining hi, us. Dania. Hi, Hi, <laughs> Oh, hi, Dania. Mm. Hi, Munir. Um, and then today, um, we're also having portfolio reviews in about an hour and 30 minutes, so towards the end of our stream. and. Hib and I will be reviewing um, two portfolios. So um, be sure to submit that on the portfolio review tab on behance.net slash live mm -hmm. so we can review them for you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if we quickly go to my screen, we actually have the winner from yesterday's challenge. Hi, Yay. And so <laughs> the winner was G2. So congratulations, you win Congrats. one year free of Adobe Creative Cloud, which is amazing. Looks so good. So let's quickly look at his um, submission and it was wow. a gold tracking app. It looks really nice. Really clean. Really clean. I love how you presented it, it on Behance. Mm -hmm. It looks the so awesome. The color palette Ooh, is this. gorgeous. Yeah. Gradients are nice. It looks really good. So awesome job, G2. Clean. Thank you for submitting um, yeah. and being a part of our challenge. Um, so yeah, let's switch over to Hiba. Maybe you can go over kind of what you worked on yesterday yeah. and let us know what you plan on working on today. Of course. Hi, if you're joining us for the first time today, my name is Hiba. I'm a user experience designer. Um, in my free time, I host a video podcast called Hiba by Design. Uh, it's on YouTube. It's about culture, heritage, tradition, its influence on how we problem solve. Um, it promotes diversity, diversity in teams. So uh, feel free to check that out. I'm also a mentor. I help up and coming designers get into the field, whether it's the design field or the UX field, feel free to reach out to me. I have some resources that I can provide you with and um, I'm more than happy to kind of look at any of your projects if you need some feedback, um, your resume, anything you need, just feel free to reach out to me. Give me 48 to 72 hours and um, feel free to follow up after if I haven't gotten back to you. Um, this week, we are working on building a uh, Fortnite-inspired companion app. This is the game that my kid loves, and <laughs> you know, my children are the source of inspiration for me. Nice. Their imagination uh, has no boundaries, so <laughs> I'm very fortunate for having them. And on Tuesday, we did some preliminary research. We uh, decided on the minimal viable product. Yesterday, we um, uh, moved our wireframes. Uh, we took them from wireframe to high fidelity mockups, and um, we started building our design system. And then today, uh, we are going to be continuing uh, building from wireframe mm -hmm. to a high fidelity mockups. Then we're gonna do some prototyping. Yay, you know, we're gonna do some that. auto animate. Yay. Who's excited? Woo. Who's with me? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> um, fun. And listen, I literally learned this this past hour. And if I can do it in an <laughs> you hour. You already did that in one hour, that's it, impressive. If you I can, can do it in an hour, yeah. you guys can yeah, definitely. definitely learn it, you know? Yeah. So check it out, it's really easy. Um, and then finally, we're gonna do some portfolio yeah, reviews. Yeah, I'm so excited yeah. for that. So be sure to submit those so we can review them and give you guys some feedback. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. Okay, gonna go back to our XD um, project. And as you guys can see, yesterday we worked on the profile page. Um, we have your stats, your about me, um, your, your squad, your favorite um, clips, 
your past streams, and then the skins that you've created. Obviously, the profile continues uh, for you know whatever emotes mm -hmm. you've created and so on and so forth. But we wanted to move forward. And yesterday we put together the the skins. Um, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit. We have our trailer. We have um, the season, the season name. Oh, that's why it's up there. Oh my God. Oh, no wonder. I was like, what's going on? Where did it go? <laughs> um, so Dunya, there's no challenge for today. It's um, actually just gonna be portfolio review. So if you have a portfolio, you can submit that on um, the portfolio review submission tab on behance.net slash mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to increase the background. And then we're gonna, so we have our skins. We are going to grab duplicate. And then we're gonna build our kind of like our emotes. Okay. Our emotes are the ones that we have. Um, I don't know if I gathered some of those on here. Let's see. I know I have an assets, accessories, background, battle pass, the battle pass. Let's see. Um, so, oh, so this is what oh, emotes cool. look like. <laughs> so what I'm gonna mm -hmm. do is I'm gonna grab this one uh, using Photoshop. Okay. And nice. or I can just crop it in in XD. In XD. Yeah. So I can just do that. Let's just grab it in here. I'm gonna put it in, and I'm just going to put a rectangle around it. And we're gonna mask it. Yeah, I love masking. The masking feature on XD is so easy. Yeah. It's, uh, let's do. I always have to look for it. Really? I don't know why. <laughs> an, okay, there you go. <laughs> it's okay. I think if you do it more, you'll. My like bad. Remember. No, don't worry. It's you know when you're live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. you're live. Yeah. Your brain functions mm -hmm. at a half capacity. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so let's get rid of all of this. I'm gonna duplicate. Um, I'm gonna go uh, go ahead and duplicate this just for sake of time, unless we can find some more. But uh, what I like to do is the assets. I grab them literally from Google. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I do Google that too. Google is our best friend. Yes, it is. <laughs> so we have multiple emotes that you can choose from. All right, so we're gonna emotes. I have a story to tell you guys about emotes. My kid calls me yesterday and he's like, he's like, Ma, you don't know what emotes means? I, I was like, what does it mean, honey? Mm -hmm. He's like, I, I was like, well, Mom, why, why can't they just call it, you know, dance moves? Mm -hmm. And he's like, because dance moves doesn't sound as cool as emotes. Aww. I'm like, <laughs> that is okay. so cute. He's, it's adorable. <laughs> All right, so we have our emotes. We're gonna go down and we're gonna build our maps. So our maps, let's see, do I have any maps? Oh no, that's accessories, background, bundles. Nope. Mm, skin. All right, so let's go Google, you guys. Let's just grab it. And we're gonna do Fortnite Battle Royale Maps. I'm gonna grab some images. This is well. <laughs> obviously for the sake of, you know, prototyping, mm -hmm. you know, I wouldn't recommend that you guys do this um, if you're designing and you're looking for actual assets, like don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, obviously you have to grab, um, pay for your imagery, make sure that you're following best practices. This mm -hmm. is just for the sake of, you know, fun. Um, and Gabriel is asking if this is an app for Fortnite or just a concept app, and it's a concept app. It's a concept app. Yeah. Yes, and it's more of a social media, uh, has more of a social media aspect than it is um, you playing Fortnite. Mm -hmm. So um, keep that in mind as well. All right, desktop, Ninja. I was stalking Ninja <laughs> this morning. Really? Uh, he was streaming, he was streaming the whole time I was working oh on this. Oh my God. I actually kid. haven't seen any of his streams, but I kind of want to, just to see, He's like, awesome. why is he so popular? Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. but I'm sure he's like really fun to watch. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, he is very like entertaining. <laughs> I found him very entertaining. All right, again, I'm just gonna duplicate. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> 
Yeah, my kid yesterday was just giving me pointers. He's like, Mom, you gotta do this, you gotta do Aww. that. And I'm like, you're so cute. Did he give you any new ideas for what to include on the concept app? Um, he didn't, <laughs> but you know, I think you know, next time I might have to bring him. Yeah, I might you have really to bring should. him to the stream because, you know, <laughs> he's just full ideas mm -hmm. and he loves it. That's awesome. He loves, like, I, I, it makes me so happy that he likes what I do mm -hmm. because, you know, I want him to be, I want him to at least have access to his creativity. Yeah. You know what I and mean? At such a young age, it's really important yeah. too. I feel like a lot of, a lot of, um, what happens is we forget to be creative as we grow older. Mm -hmm. We don't do it on purpose, but yeah. I don't know. That's um, true. Archived. And then we're gonna get some items. This is looking good, huh? It looks amazing so far. Complimenting myself. Yeah. <laughs> My work. <laughs> uh, so Jaren is asking if there's any chance to have the project file available to mm -hmm. the viewers and it would be helpful. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, once you know the, the week is done, I'm gonna go in and clean it up and then provide it for you guys. What I'll do is when, if you follow me on Behance, um, I'll upload the project and I'll um, link uh, a downloadable link for you guys to grab the assets Great. from. Nice. Yeah. So follow me on Behance. Yeah, definitely <laughs> go follow her and look at her Pokemon project. I love that one and all her oh, other projects nice. too. All right, so I'm gonna grab a wrap. We're gonna, we're just gonna say that oh. this item is archived. All right, so we have the wrap. Let's see what else can we grab. You know, some fun stuff. I, I call this an accessory. Oops, mm -hmm. what did I do? Um, this uh, is sorry. an accessory. I don't know, would it be considered an item? You guys tell me. Is this an item? I don't item? know, I haven't played enough to know. <laughs> is this an item? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Well, you guys can tell us in the <laughs> chat. Um, uh, Ahmad is asking what the font name is, and I think if you mean the Fortnite font, it was Burbank. Yeah. Thank you. And then the one underneath for our paragraph was Upgrade? Upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. upgrade. Yeah. And both of them are um, Adobe uh, fonts, yeah. so you guys can grab them. Mm -hmm. This one is, you know, literally we click of a button, we, yeah, we yeah. activated it, and, and it was available. available like yeah. right away, so it's really easy. All right, so let's see. Archived items. Oh. I was going through the battle pass items, so oh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and crop these. Okay. So I'm just gonna, let's see, do you have any fun items? Ooh. See, they even, I'm so glad I did the, you know, they break the boundary. Oh yeah, they, they break do. outside of the boundary, yeah, look at that. Like you. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so that's nice. So we'll grab some of these. Um, oh, okay. He was telling me his name. His name oh, is yeah. not Santa Claus, <laughs> obviously. I knew that yesterday. But he, he was like correcting me. He's like, mom, his name is, Sergeant Snow? Winter? Ah. Sar Sergeant Winter. Winter yeah. <laughs> I think it's that one. <laughs> Sergeant well, Winter. He, does, he could pass for a Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. could. I love it, <laughs> yeah. you know? Okay, so I like this. This was so cool when, when Aiden showed me how, um, how that works, because mm -hmm. he has that one. When he yeah. showed me how that works, I was like, that's so cool. Yeah. I loved it. All right. Are we gonna grab one item or two? Let's grab, well, we'll grab this one and then let me grab one more. Um, and then I'm gonna delete this because it doesn't match up the style. Mm -hmm. So just for, all right, uh, we're gonna grab, let's, let's grab, oh my God, the spray paint, the wall paint, that oh. was so cool also in the game. I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, they're awesome. I, I love like how creative. Whoa. They can be. I definitely need to play a lot more and so I can get better. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I should learn how to play. Yeah, you can play with your son. He can give you oh some pointers and stuff. He, you know, I feel so bad. He does ask me to, oh. to play. And when he <laughs> saw that I like, I can't play or mm -hmm. I don't know how to play, he says, can you watch me? Oh, he's like, that's can you so watch cute. Me? He's adorable. <laughs> and it's so funny because, um, uh, really? You tell me, it's, where is it? It's an object? Mask, object, mask, which, mask, yeah. Thank you. And then the shortcut. What's the I shortcut? I have a hard time memorizing all the shortcuts, but. Tell me what the shortcut is. The shortcut is, is um, shift, command, or control M. Okay, so I'll just use that. I like using shortcuts so much. <laughs> it just makes my life easier. 
And then I really like that you can actually type in whatever you're looking to do mm -hmm. in help and it'll just yeah. show you. Like, I love that. All right, so I'm using the shortcut. Nice. Yay. All right, let's grab one more item. Um, so one time I, you know, he, doing stuff in the kitchen and he, he's like talking to himself. I'm like, and he's like oh. talking like he's talking to somebody. I'm like, Ma, who are you talking to? <laughs> who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. He was like, at that time he was, he was like five, I think. Oh. He's like, my followers. I'm like, what do you mean? Followers. What do you mean? You don't have social media. There's no cameras on. What's ha what's happening? That's so funny. It's so funny. Aww. It's so cute. Like, I don't know. The innocence of kids mm -hmm. is amazing. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we're gathering our items. And command shift M. It's cropped it. Yay. We're going. We're just going to say that those items are archived. Um. I like that they archive things too, yeah. and um, it's it makes it interesting and it makes you want to play one during the time that it's available for you. Yeah, it's like limited edition. Yeah, so if you don't grab it or play with it mm -hmm. while it's available, then you might not ever. Get you the might chance. not get the chance. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm gonna do the same style. Let's do it over here. So let's make this into like one. 48. All right, did it work? Yeah, I did. I just should make it like 148. Okay, perfect. And same thing. You gotta make sure it's locked. 140. Perfect. So we have all of our archived items. So just going, you know, talking to you guys a little bit more about this. Um, we should have a title here, obviously. <laughs> You, did I build that out? I have it, but let's, let's just grab it. Copy, and we're gonna put it in here. I'm gonna make a white. And this is gonna say seasons. All right, perfect. And then we're gonna have, we don't have any actions in here, so we're just gonna keep it as is. So when you click on the second menu tab, which is seasons, so I'm gonna grab this menu. Put it in here, and yesterday we learned something fun. You can lock it, which is really cool that you can do that. Oh yeah, the fixed mm -hmm. position. Yeah. yeah, so when you scroll, the menu will stay in the same spot. And then if you guys saw, what I did was I switched between my layers to my symbols, uh, mm -hmm. my assets, yeah. and I literally just selected the group mm -hmm. and chose the color, and it switched it for me. Super simple and fast. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take this up here. I'm going to shrink this down a little. We should name it. It would be great <laughs> to name our yeah. artboards. artboards. I know I sometimes when I'm designing, I'll like make a few screens and then forget to name them. And then once oh. I get to prototyping, that it's so much easier when <laughs> they're named. And so you can just move to those artboards. But sometimes I forget. I'm so lost in designing. And then I, I try to remember to go that'll and come name back them. And bite you <laughs> yeah. And also naming all the layers. Do you guys name all your layers or not? I don't know if you do, Hiba. Sometimes I do, sometimes uh, I don't. I, <laughs> Photoshop, <laughs> yes. It's best practice. Mm -hmm. I think it is. It, it is very helpful when you're doing your Photoshop, um, y you know, graphics. Uh, if for my profile icon, if you guys mm. have seen it, it's it's. I did all of that in Photoshop. It's a mm. picture of me that I've deconstructed, and then I grabbed, you know, images of flowers and leaves, mm. and you know, uh, lavender like bushes. Yeah, it and, looks really cool. You were showing me how all the layers for oh, yeah, it. It yeah. looks so awesome. You guys should check it out. Yeah, it's thank a profile you. picture. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So um, that is a deconstruction of different graphics, mm -hmm. and then reconstructing it into one graphic. Yeah. And you definitely, when you're doing <laughs> stuff in Photoshop, you mm -hmm. need to name mm -hmm. your your layers. Yeah. Um, I feel like in, in XD, I mean, I, you know, it's best practice, obviously. <laughs> but what I've, what I've noticed is that it's, ah, oh, man, I'm gonna say this, it's a waste of time because you're, <laughs> you're copy pasting so many times. Yeah, and then and, it's like one or. And yeah, it's helpful one. that when you click on an item, mm -hmm. you know, it already selects it. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, naming your, your layers is good when you can't find a, 
an object and if you're clicking it's selecting just the top mm -hmm. the top item yeah jaren says layer naming is so hectic it is especially it's when you have so, so many layers yeah <laughs> all right so yeah. i'm going to add an artboard so if you guys notice i clicked on artboard i want to add a new artboard so an iphone x and this is going to be called our live live and we're gonna grab these um, get in the center every time. We should get our as well. All right, and then I'm gonna grab the background too. I'm gonna push it back. So in, the shortcut for pushing back is Shift Command and then back bracket. If you guys were wondering, um, and then let's see. These are items that we've already created something for. Mm -hmm. So let's grab what we have. Oh, we have our secondary menu that we should build. So I'm just gonna keep it as it is. I like the way it looks on in the wireframing. And all right, so we're gonna do, we can change the type, upgrade. Oh, why is it not working? Is it because it's selected? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Um, Jan says that they try to name their layers as soon as they make them. Otherwise, it's a major pain to go back and rename them. And mm -hmm. I definitely agree with you, especially after you're designing for a while and then you go back and you have multiple artboards mm -hmm. and all those layers, it can be kind of overwhelming. So I agree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. I'm going to make this wider just so you can see it because mm -hmm. I feel like um, there isn't enough contrast. Mm. Excuse me. And then I'm going to make this thicker. I like to be able to see it. All right, so we have our live. Perfect. So we're in the tabs area. I'm going to increase. No, I'm going to center it. That's why. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have our secondary menu. Mm -hmm. um, we're currently in the live tab. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start taking, um, you know, putting together the videos. I'm gonna see because we built something for it yesterday. Oh yeah. We built a pattern. So let's use that pattern. Alright, let's grab this copy. And then oh, grab the whole thing. I'm just gonna get rid of the background. Alright. Nice. Talk to me, girl. Well, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> what are you, are you gonna include um, the upvote and downvote on the live yeah, as well? Yeah, so we can d figure out how we want that to look mm -hmm. like. What does the UI yeah. look like for that? Yeah. Um, I think it would be nice to, you know, make it, I like the, I, I mean, the wireframe buttons, are nice. I feel mm. like we can do something better with that. Mm. Um, so maybe, you know, we can do the whole like, like, and yeah, not I was like. thinking of that. Yeah. But I feel uh, I would like to add more emphasis to this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I want to add more emphasis. So I'm thinking what we could do is we can add the description to be yeah. above the video. Maybe the description could be above the video. Yeah. And then we'll have like two cool buttons under it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let's um, do that. Yeah. Elle is asking if this video will be uploaded after streaming, and it will. Yes. It'll be available on YouTube or on Behance Replay. So you can definitely check it out. Start from the beginning if you're just joining us now or if you missed any of the previous days. So I'm going to grab the button that we've already built. And we're going to have. It did not grab the button that we already built. <laughs> Mm. Um, so Tariq is asking how they can use new fonts in Adobe XD. So if you go, I think it was. Do you want me to show them? Yes. All right. So you we're don't mind. Do I Adobe can't. font. Yeah. Oh wait, we have a shortcut. So oh yeah, yeah. Here, you were showing. <laughs> yeah, the you, shortcut. You you have your little cloud, like mm -hmm. your Adobe Creative Cloud. You go to assets. So usually it shows apps. apps yeah. So you go to assets, then you go to fonts. And then you go to browse all fonts. This shows you like all of your active ones, but if you go to browse all fonts, 
then it takes you to the site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you have the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, you can um, activate as many as you want um, for free. Well, it's included in your subscription. So, yeah. but yeah, before there was a limit, but now it's as many or as little as you want. So yeah. it's really nice. You don't have to limit yourself to the number of fonts that you have. Which is awesome. Yeah. All the fonts, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's cool. You can come here. You can, you, you know, yeah. changed whatever. And I, I like typing in the sample text because it's hard to envision what the the font will look like with the words yeah. that you want it to say. So mm -hmm. I think that's super helpful. Then it shows you, like it'll show you if it would work as mm -hmm. a display font or as a paragraph yeah. font, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can sort them, you know, by featured name or newest. Um, and, and then you can change like the way you want it to display. Mm -hmm. yeah. This that's reminds me of again. another <laughs> like font website, but I, mm -hmm. I like the grid idea. Yeah, me and too. It's, yeah, it's really it's cool. It's easier to kind of look at all mm -hmm. of them separately, but in like a fast way. <laughs> and the, it's super simple. You mm -hmm. literally just click activate yeah. and then it'll activate. And then it's automatic yeah. right away. And you can use it um, in XD or any other um, Adobe apps like Illustrator mm -hmm. and Design. As long as you're logged into your account, mm -hmm. so your Creative Cloud yeah. account, then you can access that font. Yeah. If you log into a different account, it won't display. Mm -hmm. You would have to re-download it. All right, so we're just gonna grab a button. And, you know, actually, it's a, it should be, our button should be a symbol. Oh, so yeah. let's just grab it and we're gonna call it button. And then we're just gonna grab it and drag it in here. So we have, we're gonna do upvote, upvote, and we're gonna duplicate this, not that. And we're gonna call this one, two, three, down, vote. All right, and what we wanna do is we're gonna change the color for this. Mm, what's happening, there you go. How big do you want this? Sorry. Work with me. You guys do that? I, I talk to my designs all the time. <laughs> I do too. All, time. all right, down boat. We're gonna center it. Perfect. So what I would like to do, I'm gonna have to ungroup um, the symbol because I'm gonna change the color and mm -hmm. I don't want it to change the color yeah. there. Good point. So we're gonna use, let's do, I think this looks cool. And then yeah. for upvote, the green, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That looks good. Or maybe mm -hmm. for downvote, you can do the purple. Yeah. What do you think? Red, purple. Um, it's a little hard to read the upvote on the green. Yeah. From here, from my view. The upvote, <laughs> really? Yeah, when I'm looking at the screen. I don't know, I don't know. It's oh yeah, it's above. vibrating yeah. over there. So maybe. Well, on my maybe, screen, it yeah. looks great. <laughs> yeah, it, it, looks, <laughs> it looks better on your screen than on there. <laughs> But yeah, contrast is very mm -hmm. important, so keep yeah. that in mind. Uh, we can mess with this color yeah. a little bit. Let's see. How does that look? Does that look better? Yeah, yeah, it looks better. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right. So we have down vote, up vote, and then we have, all right, so we wanna also see, and since we put the content above, uh, I still wanna put this in here so bad. <laughs> so bad, I'm actually gonna do it. Ooh. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. And what I'm gonna do so that it's more viewable, mm -hmm. like you're able, you're yeah, able to Yeah, I was see. gonna ask because underneath you have the time from the video, so mm -hmm. how do you make it so that the user focuses on that instead of what's in the background? Yeah, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a black background mm -hmm. and then we're gonna get rid of the border and then actually we're just gonna do it into a linear gradient. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do super dark, and on this end, I'm gonna actually make it into opaque. Oh, cool. And what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna push this a little. There you go. And I'm gonna grab this in the background and move everything back. So 
that looks oh, yeah. a lot better, that, right? That does look a lot better and it, it like stands out mm -hmm. so that you can see yeah. exactly how long it is. Oh, it's chat in one oh, time. Oh, we already? That happened so fast. That happened really fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone in the chat, be active. Let us know um, a fun fact or something random. Or um, just say yeah, hi. Just say hi. Just say, say hi. hi to us. You know, what's your favorite, uh, you know, character on your keyboard? Just yeah, put those yeah, on there. Just let us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, we'll be right back and chat so you can win. Bye. Yay. Go, 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 go. Andrew. Everyone. Andrew. Hey, Hi. Andrew. Hey. Hey, Heather. Hey, Nathan. Hi, Hi Jason. Hey. Carol. Anthony. Heather. Oh, Steve. It's moving so fast. It's moving so fast. <laughs> yes. Allie. Oh, my God. Hey, Look, they're welcome. actually putting characters yeah, in. They are. <laughs> that was a good idea. My favorite letter is type. H. <laughs> yeah. yeah, type H oh. for Hiba. Uh, H for Hiba. Yeah. Woohoo. Woo. Live, Jason. Yeah. Dunya. Hi Andrew. everyone! Oh my God, it's going Leslie, crazy. Leslie, Jaren, Gabriel, I am so excited. Yay. Andrew, hi! <laughs> oh my God, Carol, Fernanda, Ishmael, Jason, Tony. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to read all the oh names. Oh my God, oh. I'm trying to catch up, but I can't. <laughs> Ahmed, um, oh, Andrew. <laughs> I said Andrew like five yeah. times. Andrew. Oh my God, it's going by so yeah, quickly. I am so so Yay. so excited. Um, the stickers are amazing. Yeah. I actually made stickers. I make stickers every time I go to a conference and Ooh, I give them out. Like, nice. hey, you know, yeah. this is a little gift. You know, thank you for talking to me. Yeah. Like, I really... It's a good way for them to like remember you mm -hmm. by and it's always nice to give yeah. something to someone. And Especially yeah. if like they gave you like five minutes of, the, of their, their time. time. Yeah, exactly. I think it's the best way of, mm -hmm. you know, saying thank you. Yeah, I agree um, for sure. And cool. stickers are fun too. The stickers are awesome. Yeah. I have friends that actually create like different like collages on the oh, backs really? of their computers. Wow. And they always tell a story somehow. That's yeah. awesome. Cool. Have we chosen a winner? I don't know. Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So we're, we're still waiting process. for a winner. So keep on keep typing. typing. <laughs> keep on typing. Yeah. A lot oh of my God. lots of H's. I know, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's Melody M. Age. Yay. Woohoo! Yay. That's cool. <laughs> No, so. Um, so 100 stickers, that's a lot, yeah, that's a lot. that's a lot. And I think it's, you know, it's cool um, to give out to your, like, coworkers. Yes, it's nice friends. to give out to your friends. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're really cool to kind of, like, if you have a message mm -hmm. that you want to, you know, share, share mm -hmm. into the world, yeah. I think it's a great one to do so as it well. Is. Um, yeah. Awkward silence. Yeah, we got yes, like five awkward minutes. Silence while <laughs> Let's continue the show. Okay. We're for it. Oh, okay. So okay. we're going to continue and then we'll let you know once we choose a winner. So definitely. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> yes. And oh, share yes. my screen. <laughs> Can we share my screen, please? Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Thank Sorry. you. All the privacy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's gone down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna go and, all right, so we have the down vote, the up vote, what do you want to do? And we said we're going to add your friends, like who's watching. I love that being able to see like who from your friends are watching is mm -hmm. so much fun always. Yeah. All right, let me grab this copy. Okay, we have a winner. Oh, we have okay. a winner. Yeah. Who's that? Yay, Sumaya Mezabin. Yay, congratulations. congratulations. You're going to be getting 100 free custom stickers from Sticker Mule. And that's an awesome prize. So yes. good job. Congratulations. Good job. Thank Yay. you, guys. Yeah, thank you thank so you much. Thank you for all your favorite it's letters. It's still going. And, yeah, it's, it's still, still going. going. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right. Perfect. Awesome. We're going to start putting together our friend list mm -hmm. and we ju we just want to I'm gonna ungroup this because I want to manipulate it in different ways um, let me see is this grouped or not yes it is so I want to shrink this down so it's at 76.63 mm -hmm. <laughs> I love when it's random like numbers. random decimal numbers mm -hmm. and, All right. yeah 
so I'm gonna ungroup this as well. And let's see. Oh, this was supposed to go like 40. And then we'll do this as a 44. And make sure to lock it. do in this instance I don't think we need to see if somebody is live or not so okay. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the indicator that they're actually live and what I want to do as well I'm gonna get rid of these because I'm gonna use this one for the pattern what I want to do is actually add a border and okay. I want this border to be oh maybe I'm gonna do it white let's see because what I want to do is I want to build the illusion that they're stacking on top of each other. So let's do two. Let's do, let's do four, just for the sake mm -hmm. of seeing. And then I want it to be on the outside. So I would click. Did you guys see? So I wanted the border to be on the outside of mm -hmm. my uh, graph um, shape. So I just switched that out. And I'm going to duplicate. There you go. Just to give the illusion that they are stacking above one another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this character. I'm going to grab another character from here. Go back to my skins. Let's grab, let's grab this guy. Oh, that was not successful. Let's do that again. Go in here. So you, uh, everyone watching in the chat, do you guys play Fortnite or have any other favorite video games that you like to play? Let us know. And yeah, I like video games a lot. I have a Nintendo Switch and that's my favorite. And then I don't know if Hippo plays any video games. She said she loves Zelda. Yeah, when she I was do a love Zelda. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Nintendo 64 girl. <laughs> I love Nintendo like, 64. I can't. I and cannot. Super Nintendo. Yeah, I'm very like, I love that. Um, consoles so much. Mm -hmm. I know I miss it, but if you play it now um, and compare it to the graphics on the oh, Switch, yeah. it's insane. I wish they would bring all of those old games with higher graphics. I, I know that's probably impossible, but that would be amazing because some of those older games are the best. Yeah, so we have Quill likes Mario, Anthony likes League of Legends. I have some friends that like League of Legends, but I've never played it myself. So. Trying to grab the circle that's inside, it's not letting me, so I'm just gonna create a new one. Oh, Dunya likes Zelda Breath of the Wild. I love that game so much. It's one of my favorites. And then Jason likes FIFA. Do you guys like um, open world games mm -hmm. or do you like, you know, consecutive like story style yeah. games? Because I like story more of a storyline. Yeah, I, I kind of like both. I like open world because you can basically spend hours <laughs> just exploring everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Battlefield, Dr. Mario. I remember that game. Dr. That was Mario? Fun. Yeah, it's like Tetris, but with pills <laughs> because what? Mario's a doctor. I'm pretty sure that's what the game was. Oh I haven't God. played it in a long time, but that's funny. I remember playing that game. Um, God of War. God of War, I, I love. I yeah. love God of War so much. <laughs> That's such a good game. And then I the, haven't played it yet. The newest one is the graphics is just amazing. I don't know. I think it's a great game. I should definitely check it out because yeah. you've been talking about it a lot. I have. <laughs> I, I love it. I think of the storyline, you know, and this time, <laughs> this time, <laughs> you got me started. Sorry. Ah, that's okay. This time, um, the uh, there's like, you can play two characters, the, you know, the main God of War mm -hmm. and then his son. Oh. Yeah. So uh, the main character has different like equipments mm -hmm. and then his son uh, plays with the bow, Ooh, which is really nice. nice. That's awesome. Whoa. Um, yeah. I'm trying, why is it, last time it worked. I remember it working for me last time. Are you trying to mask? 
I'm trying to or... put the image within the mask. And uh, it's driving me crazy, but it's okay. Just do another in a circle. I'm just going to make it 40. Yeah. Um, what about? Does anybody participate in any like tournaments, like gaming tournaments? Oh yeah. And how is that? Is that cool? I know. I wonder what it's like to go to one of those tournaments. I've seen some videos, uh -huh. but they seem very intense. <laughs> yeah, but I think it would be so cool. I like watching people play. Yeah. Video. That's why I call. <laughs> I'm a backseat gamer, like for sure. <laughs> What just happened here? Is this circling? No. Oh. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> don't work. I don't want you to. It's my decision. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Oh my oh. goodness, girl. <laughs> Group things. All right. So we have this character. There's. All right. Maybe what I'm gonna do. And make sure that they're all aligned mm -hmm. correctly. There you go. And then what we want to do is you want to show a few, mm -hmm. but then you also want to um, show like if there's more than like three people watching, then you want to be able to show like a number. Oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so we're gonna get rid of the border. Uh, it's at 46. What size is this? I think we did 44. So we're gonna do 44. Alright. Maybe it was 46. We'll just keep it at that. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a number in here. And then that's going to be using like our text style. So it's Are gonna, you gonna be... change the color of the last circle or keep it white and keep it uniform? Um I let's see. Okay. Let's see what works. Let's see. 13 yeah. people. Let's use which one do we want? I think 16 point is great. Mm -hmm. Let's just change the color to our gray. And then we can see what it looks like at 100%. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I want to add a border to this or not. So if I wanted to yeah. use one of these colors as a border, apply as border, there you go. Oh, that looks okay. Maybe like a thicker, a little bit thicker border. Yeah. Let's do two. Do we like that color though? I don't know. Let's mm -hmm. see. Let's try turquoise. Yeah. It's border. It's a little bit better, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. It kind of so, stands out. Yeah. So let's move this, add some padding because it's like suffocating mm -hmm. it. Um, cool. And then right here, about 16. Doing eight padding. Okay. How do you decide how much padding you want to include in between the elements? Depending on my grid. Okay. Right? So mm -hmm. if my grid is, if my, come on, <laughs> um, my grid is an eight point grid, mm -hmm. then I like to, you know, keep the minimum padding for eight points at least. Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. So we're going to repeat this across the board. So, oh, and then we want to disclaim like what is this mm -hmm. you know these are people watching so it's good to kind of have that available for people so i'm gonna actually move this around oh, friends watching i think i like there you go so now you understand like what is this yeah, right what? all right so let's group everything group and then we're going to use repeat grid first yay repeat grid i know <laughs> our favorite mm -hmm gonna make this um, canvas wider. Have you guys noticed like when we built the wireframe how compact it was and then mm -hmm. when we actually built it? Yeah, it's a little it's more bigger. Out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for anyone watching, um, are any of you UX, UI designers or any other type of designers? Let us know. We'd love to know. One thing we were talking about, we were having a conversation about the other day is 
you know, um, UX, UI. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, what is the difference between UX? What is the difference between UI? And what would you guys like to see? Would you like to see some more UX? Would you like to see more UI, just mm -hmm. focused UI yeah. stuff? Let, Let us, us know, know in the chat. Yeah. I think it's easy to kind of combine them together, but yeah. I think they're definitely their own separate things. But I feel like they are, but they, they work together. Mm -hmm. Like they, yeah. they are not independent of one another. Yeah. But that's how I feel about mm -hmm. it. Um, okay, so this is our live tab. Gonna turn it green. All right, so we have, I would like to finish um, a few more screens in 15 minutes so mm -hmm. that we can prototype for yeah. the last 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we have our profile, our seasons, our live. What we need now is our challenges and maybe the home. So let's do challenges first. And if we don't get a chance to do it, it's okay because you know I'll have this ready for you guys mm -hmm. at least in the in the Behance um, project yeah, section. Yeah. Okay. So Leslie is saying UX. Daniel is saying UI is greater than UX, and Gabriel says focus on the UX. Focus on the UX. Yeah. Okay, but when you say UX. Because uh, this is a topic that everybody doesn't have, like, they don't have um, consensus about. Mm -hmm. But when you say UX, what is it exactly that you want to see? So yeah. describe what that is mm -hmm. so that, you know, we can make sure that we completely understand what you're saying. Um, because my thinking of what UX is is completely different than mm -hmm. what Melody thinks. It's yeah. completely <laughs> different than somebody else who's yeah. doing UX. I think um, everyone has a different and then. Yeah, absolutely. And then keep in mind, you know, we want to be able to do it on the live stream. Mm -hmm. So what are the things that we can provide for you guys yeah. on the live stream that you would like to see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Jason is saying more of the UX process. And then Tony says UI is more fun to watch, but UX is underrepresented in streams. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I think it would be really cool to see the process, maybe some more of the research and planning phase. Mm -hmm. I think that does kind of get overlooked because the UI is really fun to watch and really fun to get really creative on and work on, but I think the UX is definitely really important as a foundation mm -hmm. for getting to that UI stage. So would you guys like to see like more user interviews, user testing? Mm -hmm. yeah. What is it that you guys want to see? Yeah, let us know. Challenges. So currently playing, we want to use this. Pattern that we've created for currently playing. Oops. Yeah. We're gonna get rid of the usernames on this section. Um, we also, Hiba, you, you need to stop <laughs> not titling your <laughs> sections. That's okay. Um, Jan is asking, is UX the thought process and psychology of UI design? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, I think, I think go ahead, you yeah, answer. I, no, I think it is. I think UX definitely has a lot of psychological concepts because you're really focusing on people and their behavior with technology or any mm -hmm. interface and how they interact with it. So it's really important to understand psychological aspects, I think. So yeah, yeah, I definitely think. It's I think UX is um, more about the structure mm -hmm. and then UI is more about providing visual cues in order mm -hmm. for you to accomplish a task, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So um, think of UX as the architecture of a project yeah. or like a product, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then UI is, you know, the interior design. Mm -hmm. But interior design, you know, is also underrepresented um, because, or underappreciated because it does actually, it's kind of like feng shui, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's just, not interior design, it's the feng shui of <laughs> yeah. the product in, in order for it to be more like, a, a, like work out yeah. to its best. Mm -hmm. So Marie says um, one of the aspects of UX process that she would like to see are why are we including the UI elements and how would the UI elements you're using improve the user experience? And those are some great suggestions. Yeah. 
Okay, sounds good. Yeah, and Eric wants to see more wireframing and initial thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Good. Thank you guys for your feedback. How do you guys? Yeah. What do you guys think about um, like prototyping? How how do you? What do you think about micro interactions mm -hmm. and stuff? Yeah. Because like now that Adobe that. XD um, per has auto animate, auto -animate yeah, and, and the voice interaction, uh -huh. so it kind of brings a new level of prototyping and you can run usability tests. Yeah. It'd be really interesting to see a usability test on a voice feature. Yes, I think that'd that would be, be that would fun. be fun. Yeah. I agree. Right. Um, uh, what I'm not going to do right now <laughs> <laughs> is change the images mm -hmm. inside those bubbles yeah. <laughs> because they were not cooperating. Mm -hmm. Okay, I so okay. we have this as its own section. So what I'm going to grab is I'm going to grab one of the th the graphical elements that I created in the profile and repeat that um, in our section. So do I want to use, let's use this one with that copy. Paste. And let's grab this. We're going to move it. To the back, okay. And then what we're gonna do is gonna grab all these points. Right. And we're gonna grab this piece right here. Perfect. All right. This is not about me. This is currently <laughs> playing. All right, currently playing. Uh, all right, and then what we need to, to start adding is the, the challenge section. Mm -hmm. How many minutes do we have? We have eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay, so perfect. prototyping, so prototyping. Wait. I want us to, to um, focus on the profile section. And then mm -hmm. yesterday when I was looking through that one website about like um, people's stats, they mm -hmm. have separate stats for um, solo, duo, and um, and squad, squad. Okay. so I, I want us to be able on your profile actually showcase all of yeah. those. So how can we do that without having to overwhelm the page itself? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're gonna use auto animate for that. Nice. It'll be yeah. fun. You don't wanna overwhelm your users mm -hmm. with too much content on one yeah. screen. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're gonna grab this component because we that's something that we're using mm -hmm. here. Week 10 challenges. Hi, Miki. Thanks for joining us. All right, so we're going to we have the way and ability for the user to, to change, you know, what the challenges. Weeks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, you know, we're going to put in a progress bar. So in order for us to have some gradient, we have to have a shape. Yeah, I learned that. Or I, I knew that, but I kind of forgot um, the other day I was trying to make bars and I wanted them to have a gradient, but I was using only a border and you don't, there's no way to have a border become a gradient. So I had to go back and make it a very thin rectangle to have the gradient. So it's something to keep in mind, but maybe in a future update or something, we could have borders have gradients. That would be really good. That yeah, would be amazing, be actually. Mm -hmm. um, there's, it's, I like that we're, you know, as we are building stuff, mm -hmm. we're like figuring out the things that we need. Yeah. And it's like, hello, mm -hmm. can you get yeah. this done, please? All right, so we're going to use this. I'm trying to think if I like that for progress. I feel like let's change this guy, and we'll use green for mm. progress, right? Yeah. That makes more sense. And then we're going to duplicate that, and we're going to create just a border. Do you think that having the same color as this um, that you have up on the currently playing, do you mm -hmm. think that might be confusing? That, for yeah. People? Mm -hmm. No, you're right. Um, let's let's change it. Uh, purple? Not a big fan. Mm. I feel like um, it should stay within the green mm -hmm. realm. Yeah. So maybe we can change the shades. Mm -hmm. 
and then yeah. we'll just do more of a yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe make it slightly different so yeah. the users can know that they're two yeah. separate things. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's um, all right. So we want to show that this is like not all the way through. So what we want to do is for this one, we're just going to do. No, no, what just happened? Okay. We are going to go into solid color. Solid color, and we're mm -hmm. just gonna make this into a white. Then we're gonna push everything back. Sitting behind Ooh. it. Yeah. Give me one moment. There you go. Then we're gonna increase the width of this so it's living in it. Mm -hmm. So let's do eight, let's do ten. And. So Sumaya says, they really appreciate what you guys are doing, very inspiring, and I'm addicted to these live sessions. Thank you, Hi. Sumaya, for watching. Yeah. Um, I also love watching live streams. Yes. <laughs> I watch them all the time when I was starting out in my UX mm -hmm. UI design career, and it really helped me just to watch other designers go through their process, and you can really learn a lot just by watching someone else design. That's so I true. definitely learned a lot of tips I, I wouldn't have known otherwise. And, it's a great resource to have, especially if you're a beginner or if you're more advanced, you can always pick up some new tips. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's it's great. Yeah. I didn't have any any resource like this mm -hmm. when I was getting into the mm -hmm. industry. I don't know, we have three minutes, I'm not gonna be able to okay. finish all of this, but okay. um, what I would like to do is to, it says week 10 challenges, and then here it has the, the XP uh, I don't know if I have the XP graphic. Let's see, mm -hmm. bundles. No. Are the experience points? Yeah, I know we <laughs> yeah. learned something we learned new yesterday. That yesterday. That was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> mm. um, Sajor, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, is asking what settings you use in the drop shadow for the currently playing tab. If you wouldn't mind. The currently up. playing tab. Uh, yeah. My shadow setting is. Um, six at the Y, eight at the what blur. Is the blur, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And then 30% opacity. And what I like to do is um, my fill mm -hmm. is actually um, a dark blue. It's not black. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. to sample for a little, little bit. Subtler. Yeah. And easier on the eyes too. Uh, so, okay, there you go, that opacity. Let's grab the XP mm -hmm. from here. And I'm just gonna crop this. But what I want to do is I'm gonna crop it into a square. Mm. All right. Yeah. There you go. That looks really good. Oops. And then we're just gonna shrink it. I would ideally like to get rid of the yellow, mm -hmm. so I would use Photoshop for that. Yeah. And I would recommend you do that. I think mm -hmm. it'll look nicer and cleaner. Yeah, it's good to use Photoshop alongside XD. Mm -hmm. You can open Photoshop files in XD, which is really cool. So if you're working on something and you wanna really edit it down, um, edit images or anything, mm -hmm. you can do that in Photoshop and then transfer your work into XD, into your yes. artboards and work from there. So. All right, this typeface is at 18 points. I'm gonna shrink this down to, I think, 12. Not right 12, mm -hmm. I'm gonna shrink it to 12. And then we're going to put in, complete any four challenges in order for you to, com to um, get this reward. All right, perfect. So we have that. And I am going to move on to prototyping. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, you would use the same patterns that we've established here and just duplicate it across yeah, the board um, to create grid. that. Yep, yeah. exactly. Perfect. Yeah. All right, you guys excited yeah. for this? Yay, because this was <laughs> so cool. All right, so what I want to do is I want to show you what I did. Um, Anybody fan of Ninja? Let us know. Let us know in the chat. Yes. 
if you are, I feel like I've gotten very close and personal with Ninja in mm -hmm. the past like day. <laughs> yeah, from all your research. Been done some <laughs> stocking. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna work on today, just so you have an idea. Um, we are in prototype mode, and then you could click play, and this is what we're gonna do. Cool. Who is excited? Yay. I'm so excited <laughs> about this. It's so cool. Nice. I love that transition. Thanks. And how everything else stays the same. Yeah. It's really cool. No, it's it's really cool. I think what I would like, what I envision for this as well is I would like for you as you scroll for pieces to start to like stack. Mm, yeah. You know, it, it would That'd look really cool. nice. And we could do that in yeah. Adobe XD. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so just to kind of give you a little bit about um, uh, auto animate, um, I am looking for where is it? Maybe the Behance profile for um, what's his name? Howard. Do you know? Oh, Howard. Oh, there you go. Just maybe is it? refresh it because let's refresh. So Howard has a UI kit for oh, yeah. auto animate. I've use that and yeah. it's really helpful. It's so, so definitely helpful. definitely download that and it helps you kind of understand how to make those animations on your own. If you just look at it, you might not know what shapes are used mm -hmm. to create it and it's really helpful. He really breaks it all down. So it's, definitely check that out from Howard. It's an awesome resource. It's literally how I learned <laughs> <laughs> how I don't animate in, in the span of an hour. So if you click on his project, you scroll down, he has a short video that you guys can watch. Like, look, look it's how so cool. so cute. Like, isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's awesome. You go down, What he talks about what it mm -hmm. is. There's a short video that you can watch, it's like five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can download the XD file here. Yeah. So I just wanna show you what's in the XD file. This is what you get. Yeah. So you actually l look at all of this. Mm -hmm. Like he provides you with so much yeah, stuff. I learned how to do the circle where like the water fills up because yeah. I've seen that and I had no idea how to do it. And I tried going on YouTube, going on Twitter, trying That's to figure amazing. out how people do that. And then I finally <laughs> found this from Howard and then I'm like, oh, let's that's see if how we, with a mask. If and we, I didn't know that. If we click so, on one of these. Yeah, so you can what? watch, yeah, it's super cool. That is amazing. Yeah. This is a great loading mm -hmm. um, yeah. icon. Loading. Yeah, for yeah. sure. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but if literally you come in here um, and you can see what the settings are for everything that mm -hmm. you might need. So yeah. animating size, if you click on it and you want to see, you click and it shows you how to animate size, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Animate uh, position. So this will show you position. Um, opacity changes, again, it yeah. shows you how to do it. Um, the one that we, okay, the fact that you can animate path yeah. is just beyond. It's really cool. It's so cool. The one that I really, um, we're gonna be using is this one, stacking, Yay. you know, yeah. but we're gonna be stacking sideways instead mm -hmm. of uh, from top to, to uh, from bottom to top. And if you um, if you go to his his Behance page, you can download it, and you guys can find it. I think Val uh, just shared the link to it in the chat. Oh, thank you, Val. Thank you, Val. <laughs> we really appreciate mm -hmm. it. All right, so let's go back to my project, and we could. This is already done, but what we're mm -hmm. gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we did it. So I'm just going to grab. Uh, let's grab my profile. The one that we created yesterday. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna make a copy of it. And let's grab everything and move it to the side so that we have a clean screen. And all right. The most critical thing that you have to keep in mind when you're doing animation is the um the layer that you're trying to animate needs to be the, the same name mm -hmm. from one screen to the next. Yes. So that's the most important thing that you yes. need to do. So across all your artboards, the name has to stay exactly the same. It can't have that one in parentheses because no. it'll be, it won't work. So it yeah. has to be consistently the same name for it to be able to animate. Yeah, and then I noticed um, if you have um, a grid mm -hmm. and you're trying to stagger things, um, 
sorry, not a grid, a, um, oh my God. If they're grouped together into the, the, the mask. The, oh God, <laughs> no, the, the, you guys, Wait. see, this is what's happening. It's so embarrassing. Um, I don't know what you're trying to say. Yeah, I know, I know. Wait, the, where did my bright menu go? It's, oh, I think cause you're in prototype. Oh yeah, don't. Just go back to this. Okay, yeah. repeat grid. Oh, okay. repeat grid. Thank you. So if you're in repeat, if you have uh, items that are in, in repeat grid, like for example, this one, mm -hmm. they'll animate together, but if you're trying to animate them separately, you mm -hmm. kind of have to unhook it, mm -hmm. uh, ungroup the grid. That's a good tip. Um, so keep that in mind, because I was doing it, and I was like, what's going on? Why isn't it working? Like, I have everything named the same, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't working for me, and that was the reason why. So if you guys find yourself stuck, it's most likely that's what happened. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate um, this and artboard. When you duplicate, do the names stay the same? Or so let's see, let's so I'm see. gonna grab my name it says mm -hmm. Heba and we come here it says Heba. Heba okay. Now it says solo. This group groups though. Mm -hmm. You'll notice this one's called group 155. Yeah. Oh it is. Yeah, it's, it's called 155. So good. just as yeah. long as the names are correct. Yeah, so always double check. Worry. Yeah. And then so what I want to do is when we go from this screen to that screen, I want to actually kind of scroll through the stats between mm -hmm. solo, duo, and uh, squad. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is my end screen here is going to say duo, and it's going to give you the stats for my duo. Mm -hmm. um, so what I want to do is get rid of this. So when you animate, I want mm -hmm. those to get out of the screen. So I'm just going to grab those items. Oh, in prototype mode. Make sure you're in prototype mode. So you grab it, you move it to the side, but it needs to stay connected with the screen itself. So what happens? Hmm. Are you trying to drag the Yeah, end? no, but I need it to stay on, like associated with the screen itself. So oh, so if you group all those together mm -hmm. and then just select solo and you move it outside of the let's see grid, it should because if I'm out of then? if I'm out of the screen, it should yeah. these should hide. You yeah. know what I mean? I think I don't think they'll be included on the screen. Um, one of the items has to be on there, but if you group them together and just leave one, and you can um, lower the opacity, maybe. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. And then what I'll do is so that way it'll stay grouped together and it'll know that it's on that artboard. Yeah. All right, let's do this. And should keep it. One of them has to still be on. No, because I did oh. it on here. Oh, here, really? you'll see. Okay. So if you look on see. here, mm -hmm. and we have solo. See, they're all, okay, these are all in here. Oh, I see. Okay, but what about this one? They should all be, maybe you're right. I could be wrong. All right, let's grab it and keep it on yeah. the screen. And then you can lower, lower the, opacity. the opacity. Yeah, so it's kind of hidden. Okay, so we're gonna go back to design and then we're just gonna lower the opacity. All right, so let's, te let's, let's test, test this it, out. Yeah. Okay, oh, duh, I should have I should put in the interaction. So we want to connect oh, yeah. this page. <laughs> I forgot we're, about we're in such a hurry <laughs> yeah. to show you guys yeah, this awesome so feature. About it. <laughs> okay, so we're going from Hippo Solo to Hippo Solo One to Hippo Solo Two, and we want to be able to drag, auto animate, second destination, and then we want it to ease in, ease out, and enter. And there you go. So let's see what happens. Click. And then, oops. Click. See? I don't know oh. what's going on. It's weird, right? It's weird. I'm um, trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Hmm. What's happening? Okay. We will figure it yeah. out. Okay. I wonder what. How did you do it on the first, the ninja one? Yeah. So how did you group them? They weren't grouped. They oh, were they single. Were some, okay. Yeah. Let's do this one more time. Okay. okay Maybe so don't group it then. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't group it. Yeah. Then. So let's just call this duo and see 
what happens. And I'm going to change this color to the green because they have it as green. And I am... Oh, okay, what's going to happen if I do that because it's going to be the same name. So I have to ch I have to have it in a separate name. Oh. Okay. So we have duo and okay now it's called duo and then we can change the color. We got that. And we want this to already have been here. Oh yeah. Remember? And then you can lower the opacity on that. Yes. So mm -hmm. it's still on both artboards, but you won't see it on the first one. All right, so we're gonna lower that to zero, and let's go back to prototype. Oh, you know, what's going on? Why did I have to do that again? Drag, I'm gonna do oh, tap. I think because you, did you make a new artboard? No, it's the oh, same okay. one. We'll just do tap, and then we'll do automatic, there you go, eight seconds, let's just do that. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so we go to Hippo Solo, and then, there you go. Ooh, okay. You there saw you that? Go. Yeah. That was cool. All right, so we're gonna exit that. We're gonna take the solo, we're gonna copy it. I'm gonna put it on the screen and then I'm gonna move it out. There you go, see how it disappeared? Okay, yeah. okay so now when we click it, click and... You saw what happened? Yeah, nice. That's what we wanna cool. do. Okay, okay. Nice. nice. It's working, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's like hyperventilating for a second. Okay. Hi, Khalti. Yeah. Samira is in the house, you guys. Hey. My mom, too. Oh, Aiden, are, hi, is that mom. you or is that mom? Hi, Aiden. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we're going to grab this group, um, that group, all right. Also, if yeah. you want your, to submit your portfolio to have us review it, be sure yes. to do that before the time is up. You have 17 minutes to do that yes. and then we can review it. And, and 17 can, minutes go yeah. by so quickly. They go by really so make fast. make sure you do that as soon and as And you possible. can find the submission form on behance.net slash live on, under the portfolio review tab. All right, so we are getting this done. So we're gonna stack yes. them. You see how we're doing yeah. that? So I learned something new today for me, Hibba. Oh. I didn't know you could do that. I thought it had to be grouped, grouped together, together, right? But I know. it could be separate, so. It could. Yeah. So we're just gonna double check that the groups, the they're all named the same. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go back to my layer. Uh, and this says 158, 158. So mm -hmm. as long as they're in the same, uh, same name. name. Yeah. So we're gonna go back. I like to continue to double check my work. Mm -hmm. See? Yay. Did you see how easy yeah, that like was? Sliding that up. was so yeah. cool. Okay. Awesome. And then we're gonna grab the duo stats and um, put, stack them in here. I'm gonna steal those from okay. here. <laughs> Just gonna steal my numbers. Yes. All right, and okay. those are, we got rid of that and we want those to kind of stack as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think, this is the end result. Mm -hmm. So this screen is the end result. This screen is what, um, you're starting where they start yeah. right so what we need to do this is where they end right uh -huh. 28 is this 28 yes okay so we want to grab these guys and copy them into this page so remember okay mm -hmm. and then yeah, we're so going to stack them and then put them at uh zero yeah. opacity so it's important to have both elements that you want to animate on both mm -hmm. artboards, so you can reduce the opacity to zero so you can't see them, but they're still there. So XD knows to animate those. Yes, and then if you notice, this is one, um, group 159, mm -hmm. and this is group one, 163. Ooh. They won't animate, so yeah, I have to so change, change the name, because <laughs> we would oh, have no. had a, a heart attack. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we would have been like, what's happening? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of times it's not the program, it's like a human error. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, and keep that, that in mind when you're time. looking at yeah, when you're working mm -hmm. on your stuff. Yeah. It's always good to double check everything. Yeah. yeah. All right, perfect. Oh, Aiden is watching. Hi mommy. Aiden. I Hi. miss you. <laughs> Thank you, Habibi, Yay. for watching, sweetheart. Am I doing a good job? You tell me. You tell me if I'm doing a good job. Aww. You are doing a great job. <laughs> All right. So 
So we're gonna grab all of these. What I wanna do is I wanna keep them behind her, so okay. um, let's go back to design. Mm -hmm. We're gonna lower this, and we're gonna grab her and put her in the front, okay? So, crossing fingers. Ooh. Yay! Ooh. Good Did job. you guys see that? That <laughs> was so good. <laughs> yes, definitely. All right. I want to like have it here. Okay, can you guys see? So it's it's on tap. I like I want it to be on drag. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go Should back and fix it? that. Yeah. yeah. But just so you guys see, this is where we're at, and you click it. Wait, <gasps> what happened? <laughs> I moved my artboard, freaked out. Oh, all right, let's just, let's mm. try again. Don't worry about it, just yeah. give me one second. <laughs> I just want you guys to have like a, a space in this section to yeah. see what, how mm -hmm. it's working. Mari says there should Ooh. be an option to duplicate elements um, to avoid renaming the elements, and I agree. Yeah, I, I think it's easy. the reason why it's, to, um, it, it wasn't working because we were going from one, one completely different um, artboard to mm -hmm. the next. Mm -hmm. Like they weren't on the same artboard itself. Uh, yeah. So I think that's what that's why the second time mm -hmm. it wasn't working. Because the first time, if you notice, when I duplicated, it kept the name the yeah. same. Yeah. Oh, um, Jimmy says fix the do to duo. I think. I How do you realize. spell that? <laughs> I didn't me and spelling are not friends. <laughs> Thank you, at all. Wait, how yeah, do you? So you know, D U O. D U O. Yeah. Okay. Good I swear catch. I'm an adult. I did not know. D O U. D O. D U O. D U O. Yeah. Right? There you go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's find then, it over here. Yeah, we have to change it on this one, too. Oh, um, I got a find it now. Maybe go to the layers panel. Oh, it's, it's right here. I'm just going to increase D. Thank you so much for looking yeah, thank out. You. Like it's, it's It's so easy to miss like little things like that. So, sure. Good eye. These are the best. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I'm going to go back. I'm going to select it and we're going to press play. You guys notice? There you go. Yay. That it was looks that so was awesome. Awesome. Um, what I, if we want it to go back? So we'd go back to prototype mode, mm -hmm. and we take it from this side all the way to this. We're gonna do. We're gonna keep it at tap, and then mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if we can figure out the the drag. Yeah. And everything looks good. Um, I think you should bring the the square that's underneath. So if you select tap, you might have to tap down here. But if you select up here, then you can just tap from up there. Okay, so know. where? From oh, there, yeah. Okay, thank just you. Just so it's not like underneath. <laughs> yeah, okay, how do I get rid of this guy? Ooh. Oh, I'll click on it. So you can um, click on the arrow at the end mm -hmm. and then you can drag it back. Oh, and then that's okay, how you that was that. So, yeah. so easy. <laughs> All right, thank yes. you. You're welcome. All right, so we're gonna do tap, animate, ease in, ease out, perfect. All right, we're we gonna let's test that out. Test that out. Oh, she's moving too. Yay. That was <laughs> such a good accident. <laughs> Wait, can you show that? Yeah. One more time? You see how she's moving? Yeah. Nice. Nice. That looks so good. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's like she's making space yes. for the duo stats. <laughs> I like it a lot. Yeah. Okay, so so that's if you're clicking on it, but we want it to be um, more where you drag it. So what I want to do is I want to remove this and do what you, you said we should do. It should be on this side. All right, and we're going to do... We're going to switch it from tap to drag. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go here and switch this from tap to drag. All right, and then let's check it out. Ooh, oh, look at that. Cool. You're dragging in and nice. out. 
in such a shot. smooth transition. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, I love that. And I like how she moves too. I know me too. <laughs> that fun. was a, that yeah. was like a sweet accent. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Those that's usually where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, nice. Um, what I wanted to do as well is I wanted to see if we can stack these items where mm -hmm. you know as you're scrolling up it actually it pops up. Pops up. Yeah. So let's see if we can do that. See, you guys, it, it literally took less than 20 minutes. Yeah. And if we had things down, you know, it <laughs> would have okay. taken. That's part of design. Exactly. Yeah. You don't always have things down right away. But I know. You like, practice, and that's what makes you a better designer. So you guys, they have 10 minutes to submit their portfolio, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Maury. For yeah. Duo, it would be cool to show who you played with the most and have characters side by side. Yes. Oh, that that's a great cool. idea. Yeah. I love Thanks, that. Thanks, Maury. Oh, beginners are welcome to enter too, you guys. So, yeah. so if you're a beginner, don't feel free be shy, to submit, submit your portfolio. Your portfolio. Yes. Don't be afraid to do that because, um, you know, we appreciate the fact that you're trying hard mm -hmm. and you're working, you're doing your best. Yes, thank you. All right, so the about me, we're gonna have to move things from here. So I'm gonna move this whole section down because we want it to stack, right? Yes. Let's go back to design. I want to move all of this down. Move all of this down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, stay right here. And then this is just the beginning, that's the end. And I'm going to ungroup this. And I want this to be higher so it gets arrives there faster. Mm -hmm. And let's do a bit more. Okay, let's see what happens. So, can we go to prototype? We're going to keep it on click. Did I have to? Um, ha it broke. <laughs> Why did it Can break? Can go, go back to um, what you had? Mm -hmm. So we want to go from here to here, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to do it on tab. Mm -hmm. Auto animate, eight seconds, ease in, ease out, yes. We do enter. Now let's try this again. Ooh. <sighs> That was so cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mind blown. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That was cool. All right, let, let me grab this these items mm -hmm. too and, and stack all of those. I love well. all the different animation things you can do with Possibly. auto animate. It's really cool. All these different effects. It's really awesome. And it's so easy and you don't have to learn how to code because mm -hmm. there's some apps where you do need code to make some things happen. and. That's really difficult, so yeah. it's really nice that it's easy and all in XD. I agree. I'm, I'm with you 100%. Coding is <laughs> not fun. Yeah. Gabriel says, if you stream on Twitch, I think this will have more views than Ninja. I think oh, so too. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Thank you, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about you it. You should. I'm thinking about <laughs> it. Yeah. All right, so let's ungroup these guys. I want to see if we can move these sideways, right? So, see this. Ooh. I don't know. I'm just we playing things it. right yeah. now. Let's see if that works. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Are they on the I have to, second artboard? Yeah, oh. they're they're on here. Let's see if. We should need to group them. What do we need to do? Um, to think are the names things. the same? Oh, good job. Maybe we can double check that. Let's see. We have six minutes. All right, one fourteen. Oh, duh, because I uh, I ungrouped this one. Oh, oh remember I was telling yeah. you? Yeah, ungroup. Yeah, if you ungroup something on one artboard, you should do okay. it on the other artboard. Let's try. Yeah, let's see how that. All right. Oh. oh. <laughs> what just happened? I don't, I don't know. know. 
<laughs> okay, they're probably that's named. Funny. Oh, see, that's one fourteen. Maybe are they? In There's two of them. There's two one fourteen. Okay. <laughs> so let's do. I don't know. I'm gonna do like three hundred just mm -hmm. to be safe. Yeah. Because I don't know how many. <laughs> I don't know those, how many groups so. you've already made. <laughs> okay. This see, they're all called one fourteen. Oh. So three oh one. All right. Let's see, they're all called mm -hmm. one fourteen. Three oh two. Right, and then we're gonna make sure this one's called 114, 301, one, and then 302, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, 300, oops. This one is 300. And then 301. And then this one is 302, right? I think so. 302. This is so much fun. Yeah. I love doing the animation process. Yes. You can, I love trying different things. And then a lot of times it doesn't work, but you can still learn. Trial and, er yeah. trial and mm -hmm. error. Exactly. Oh, oh, I missed it. What just happened? <laughs> I think two of them didn't move. Or... Oh, oh, interesting. Well, <laughs> get ready okay. for our uh, portfolio review. Yeah. This was so much minutes. fun. I yeah. had a great time. I can't believe that, you know, I'm here for a second time. I know, it's you know? awesome. And I really appreciate everybody's support, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, you um, guys are so nice in the chat. Yeah, Thank you guys you. have, you know, four minutes to submit your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Let us know, you know, what kind of feedback you're looking for. So if you submitted your portfolio, stay in the chat yeah. room. Let us know and tell us exactly. Yeah. If you have something that specific that specific. you want us to look for, mm -hmm. let us know. What questions do you guys it. have um, yeah. for us about why you know you have your portfolio up to date? Are mm -hmm. you looking for a job? Yeah. Are you looking for freelance work? Mm -hmm. So that we can take that into consideration yeah. when we're reviewing your exactly. portfolio. Yeah. Um, and then also like make sure your uh, about section is up to date mm -hmm. so that we know like we we want to know who you are yeah. where you're from um, and how long you've been doing this mm -hmm. how long you've been following the the um, live stream yeah. Um, yeah. what what programs do you use mm -hmm. when you're designing yeah. uh, give us all that information in your about us section I know yeah. you have like a minute and a little bit <laughs> over okay. a minute I think but it's it good be nice. for for everyone watching to plan that in the future and also check out Hibba's Behance Yay. profile for her about me section. It's really good and her resume, oh, her thanks. whole resume is on there. Yeah. So if you are looking for an example of how to format anything, oh yeah, if you want to show I'm gonna them. pull it up, yeah. yeah. If you guys want to check Be out really my helpful. Behance, it's behance.net slash Hibba by design. Um, I have three projects on there. The project that I worked on last, um, the Pokemon project, mm -hmm. um, and some of the work that I've done at my current job right now. Um, but if you go in here, you you have all of my past like experience, and then you can see my full resume. I actually have everything on here. It's so impressive. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Everything on yeah. here that you, you need to know, um, you, my extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. my education. Yeah. You, um, I love that you guys have, yeah, I know a little bit of French, but mm -hmm. I'm a beginner. Mm -hmm. So at least like it's you not. You can still add that in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like put that in there. Like yeah. if you know a little bit of Spanish, it's mm -hmm. kind of good to have yeah. that in there. Exactly. Um, my speaking engagements are all mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. Um, so I like that there is an, a section that you can put extras. Like yeah, that, I think that helps a lot. It helps people that are looking at your profile know a little bit more about you that you might not be able to say in your about me because maybe yeah. you don't want to write too much. but. Mm -hmm they click on that they can learn other things other fun like volunteer projects that you've done yes it's really you can create your own that. section so yeah. whatever is you feel like needs to be on your resume i think you mm -hmm. should have it on there yeah so um i love this feature mm -hmm. in in behance um and then my about me section this is oh look it says i'm member since february 13 2018. <laughs> Like, I know I've been on here longer. <laughs> um, but yeah, feel free to follow me. I, I can yeah, follow Yeah, everyone myself. follow her. <laughs> um, oh, look, 120 followers. Yay. That's amazing. Yay. Yay. Thank you. All right, the deadline Yay. is up. For portfolios. For portfolios. Yay. I'm so excited. Um, does, 
do do we get to like choose somebody's portfolio and then they win something? Um, no, right? I don't think there's no. a prize. There's no prize, but still Correct the me prize. If I'm wrong, Voodoo Val. I don't think there is a prize. I think it's just people. There is no prize. No there is no prize. Okay. Thank there is no prize. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. I just want to give you guys. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. Cool. So Prizes we. Having yeah, yeah, having your portfolio yeah. reviewed is that's the prize. A prize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so I have the two portfolios on We're about my to go screen. into space, you guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bumping hands, bumping, bumping, bumping. Oops. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, Hello. yeah. We are Hi, back. everyone. Hello. We made it we back to We just went to space really we fast. <laughs> <laughs> and we are back we to look at some purple. Back. Ah. This is so much fun. <laughs> Yay. Thank you to everyone who submitted your portfolio. Yes. If yours didn't get chosen this time, don't worry. We have UI UX streams very often, and you can submit them. Next time we have one mm -hmm. on the Thursday of the stream. And then you can still submit them because Christine is on in like oh, yes. 30 Christine minutes. Oh, yes, Christine is on. You guys, yes. Yes, today definitely. you still Thanks, have an Eva. opportunity to yeah. submit your portfolio. And Christine is amazing. Mm -hmm. She yeah. will give awesome feedback. Yeah. Definitely stay tuned for her and Howard. And Yes, yes. absolutely. Okay. So show me. Yes, okay, show me, so show let's me. look at the first project Pro portfolio. portfolio so this is from wow. kushio kumar mm -hmm. thank you for submitting looks thank you so good. much for yeah. submitting it looks good yeah, so, so he is from india yeah, from go Bangalore, worldwide india. wow and he's a senior graphic designer yeah. and f senior flash, flash developer. developer so he That's is impressive. our professional yes um, cause <laughs> i think we review a professional and mm. and uh, like a beginner right mm. I we think. have two portfolios. Yeah. Okay, cool. And, and so there's some tags here. Oh, he's been a member since 2012. 2012. Nice. Wow. Cool. That's, <laughs> That's awesome. Let's should we look at his full resume? Yeah. Let's, I mean, if he has it up to date, look at that. Look. Nice. His is nice and clean yeah. to the point, which is great. Ooh, all his languages. He speaks three languages. That's, That's awesome. So impressive. I am so impressed. Wow. And yeah, take advantage of this. Yeah. yeah. Take advantage nice. of this, for sure. Awesome. Let's look okay. at some of his projects. Yeah. He said he does um, he graphic design. He does graphic design and flash, yeah. which is great. So let's look at an wow. overview. Um, is there any one so that you want to? Yeah, definitely. I really like the first one, the the red one. Yeah. I like the the use of topography there, and then Me I'm too. very curious about the one next to yeah. it. So it says Coca Cola, Cola Adobe, and you. Oh. Times nice nice i like the spacing i love it the letters too and the color oh my Ooh. god Coca -Cola. that's very clever yeah okay so this is the concept yeah Ooh. nice this looks amazing how did you um create the graphic it would yeah. be nice to know let if us you're, know in, if you're the, in the chat if you're in the chat let, let us, know. us know if you created this because this is nice. This is so impressive. I don't mm -hmm. think I could. <laughs> so I guess what I'm looking at is like a campaign for Coca-Cola, yeah. and I like how he put that together. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. It's really good. It's a good use of the space mm -hmm. because there, there's the empty space in the corner, and you put the logo right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It's very balanced. Yeah. And then so. it says uh, Coca-Cola and Adobe. And Adobe. Nice. You want to go down? Yes. Let's go down. Nice. Oh, okay. Adobe. I really like I really like the graphic. I like how um you know the grid that you put together is beautiful. Yeah. Um it's readable, which mm -hmm. is nice. It also looks like a an optical illusion, which is really mm -hmm. nice. Um if you want to yeah. scroll up so that yeah. they can see it. Um this one? Let's go all the way all to the, the way top. Up. Yeah. The, like the use yeah. of the use of space, the use mm -hmm. of negative space, it's readable. It also still intriguing you mm -hmm. know like i'm trying to figure it out yeah i um, want to click on it and read more yeah definitely. and i like i like the fact it feels like an art piece you know so mm -hmm. it's not something that you just 
just see it and then you pass by, you yeah. actually will stop and actually take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I really appreciate it when somebody, mm -hmm. you know, um, puts a little bit more thought into what they're yeah, working on. Yeah, me too. Which is very clever. Nice. I wonder, I wonder what inspired this project. Yeah, I think he wrote a little bit at the bottom. Mm -hmm. A work of art celebrating Coca-Cola sport movement strength and unity using Adobe Creative oh, Cloud. Oh, cool. That's really cool. That is awesome. Yeah. I like how you included this little blurb at the bottom yeah. for people that might not know. Because I was curious. Yeah. I was very curious. And it's important to add just something. Mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah. Um, cool. Let's try awesome another job. project. I'll through. let you choose the next one. Okay. I'm intrigued by this one. Nice. <laughs> because of the iPhone mock-up. So it's a payment workflow mobile UI kit. Mm -hmm. Nice. The color palette yeah. is nice. Mm -hmm. See another um, dark. dark background. Yeah. Look exactly. at that. <laughs> Looks nice. I like the colors. I like how you laid out the colors like this and included the hex code at the bottom. Yeah. Keep in mind um, the the text on the bottom is it, I can't read, mm -hmm. and so I can't read the hex numbers. Yeah. Is it just my screen? So I, I would could keep be a little. Brighter, or I lighter would keep color. into consideration mm -hmm. some contrast. Yeah. So just so that you know, I, I understand this is just like a preview of the project, mm -hmm. but it would be nice because yeah. at the at the second yeah. screen, you actually have a description, right? Mm -hmm. At yes. the cart, yeah. A, a um, little bit difficult to read when it's on that dark background. I think if the font was maybe white or like a light lighter blue. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, definitely the contrast, like you mentioned. But the presentation is is unique, mm -hmm. um, like and yeah, it's connected together, yeah. it's cohesive. Mm -hmm. The the way he has the products, look at the way he has yeah. the products on the screen. It's is nice. that presentation right there. Mm -hmm. The layout is is nice, um, yeah. and it is absolutely very successful in mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah, a nice um, call to action button right yeah. here. Can click on that and check mm. out the use of like a, the the background that pattern mm -hmm. in the background yeah. is beautiful so you don't just have a solid background yeah yeah i like it mm -hmm. scroll it's down nice. so you can add to cart oh and then personal information so this is kind Payment. of like um a checkout mm -hmm. experience yeah. nice yeah i like how you included paypal different options mm -hmm. for a credit card or paypal that's always important to think of your users. Yeah. Maybe they might not want to put their credit card information. Yeah. I yeah. actually, for me, I use PayPal. I, I have my too. credit card mm -hmm. attached to my PayPal, mm -hmm. and then nice. I just use PayPal. Yeah. It just makes it easier. Yeah, and then whenever, when I can, I use Apple Pay. Yeah, I, never I thought, love Apple Pay. <laughs> yeah, I never thought I'd be using Apple Pay, yeah. but I do. Have you used it in person yet? Yeah. No, I, I, I've used it at stores really? actually where I would pull out my credit card, just scan it. Nice. And I've used Apple Pay like directly mm -hmm. like for Uber and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, cool. Let's keep Next scrolling. screen, card, card details. details. Nice. Save info for future purchases. This reminds me of like the daily challenge because mm -hmm. one of the UI daily challenges um, that um, are available mm -hmm. is a checkout experience. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I have done that. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Um, and that can you, be hard because there's a lot of fields mm -hmm. that you have to create and... You have to think yeah. about, you know, the user, the, their flow. How mm -hmm. can we lessen how many steps they have yeah. to go through mm -hmm. in order for them to accomplish their task? Yeah. Um, and speaking of like daily challenges, if mm -hmm. you guys have any anything that you guys want um, to learn a little bit more about, mm -hmm. um, let us know so that we can Keep that in mind yeah, when we're creating the daily, daily challenges. challenges. Yeah, yeah, definitely let us know. Um, and I also, for checkouts, um, it, it's important to think about if you want to include the card number, like what is the text field supposed to say? If mm -hmm. you're going to include that maybe underneath the box or on it, so when you push on, on the box, it you still disappears. Remember, or, yeah. yeah, like mm -hmm. some users might not know what goes in each field. Yeah. So it's important to think about how you want to present it. And I think you did a really good job with having it um, in there. In there, yeah. I also like I like the fact that uh, as a like a micro interaction, mm -hmm. when you're putting in your your number, it starts to hide those digits. Yeah, which I think is very that's really good. Very for good because privacy. you don't want people, yeah, mm -hmm. grabbing that information. Yeah, that yeah. can be scary. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's, All right, let's see. Um, Order, order confirmation. confirmation. Confirmation yes. is so crucial mm -hmm. when it comes to UX. Yeah. It's the most 
important thing because you don't want to leave the person hanging. Did it work? Did it not mm -hmm. work? And then always provide somebody next steps. So yeah. once you have the confirmation screen on that screen, you can mm -hmm. say, you know, expect um, an email from us yeah. telling you, you know, how long it's going to mm -hmm. take or a receipt has been sent to your email. Um, I think that is very important. I'm glad that you put it that yeah, in there. I agree. Yeah, it's important to let your users know during each step where they are and especially getting a confirmation knows that their action was successful and they're not lost. Like maybe, yeah. oh, did this go wrong? Especially for a purchase or a big purchase, mm -hmm. you really want that confirmation screen yeah. to show up. And I like if, you, if you're if you ordering something that's gonna come in the mail, like mm -hmm. let them know you are going to get your tracking number, number soon. soon. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And then that way you know to look forward yeah. for a tracking exactly. number. Nice. This looks Ooh, great. Yeah, it's, I like how you have them all at the steps. end too. Yeah. yeah, really simple. Easy, I really like the layout. Whoa, this is cool. Yeah, this I is like great. This. Thank yeah, you so much job. for submitting um, this. Yeah, you know, your thank portfolio. you so much. I would like to look at one more yeah, project. Let's look at one more. Um, what's the one next to it this on one? the right? Yeah. yeah, let's click on this one. It says UI design, so payment, payment workflow. workflow. This is the desktop version, like I think or no? So. It's like a desktop yeah, web version, version of yeah. of, of the, payments. Yes. Yeah, nice stuff your cart, my offer code. I like that I know, I already know <laughs> that I'm on step one mm -hmm. and then that I have two more steps yeah. to go. Mm -hmm. This is crucial also for transparency, it's very important. Yeah. Um, I, I can actually delete an item. A lot of times, you mm -hmm. know what I do when I'm yeah. shopping? Mm -hmm. Um, that's just me personally. I start putting stuff that I'm interested in mm -hmm. into my cart and then I actually go in there afterwards and I'm like, okay, I actually don't love this. Yeah, I do that too. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of yeah, like it, I hold things in there yeah. and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna choose the things that I'm in love with mm -hmm. and, and remove the stuff yeah, that I don't I do want. Yeah, I too. Because I don't want to go back and like look for yeah, it and then it's nice to kind of compare things, especially yeah. if I'm buy, buying clothes. Mm -hmm. I want to <laughs> see if they like the if items actually can... match up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's important, it's nice, and I like how a lot of like shopping websites do include the delete button right there. Mm -hmm. Maybe they might not want you to delete it, but it's really important to think about the users and what they want, Yeah. and it's nice to have the option for them in case they change their mind or they want to edit the size or something. For yeah. sure. One thing that um, my team always uh, talks about mm -hmm. is we always have like a controversial, no, no, that's the wrong term. Like a conversation about <laughs> mm -hmm. or is using a disabled button. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys like having, seeing a disabled button or not? Um, in my opinion, a disabled button can be a little confusing. What do you mean by disabled button? So if you notice apply offer code, it's, uh -huh. it's disabled. Oh, so okay, you yeah. can't click uh -huh. it. <laughs> so for me, it's, it's like, okay, how do I activate this, mm -hmm. you know? So it's it's very, a little confusing. Yeah. Um, so in us, the way we solve for that is that we always keep the button active. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, if you, let's just say, went to next step, mm -hmm. and that is a required field, and yeah. then we tell you, you know, it's you missed a required mm -hmm. field. Yeah. That's a um, good thing to bring up. I don't know why it's inactive here, yeah. because it wouldn't apply for this case, right? Yeah. I know, I think Interesting. it's a little confusing. Maybe it's a anything. secondary button. Yeah. If it is a secondary button, I would um, actually revisit that and, mm -hmm. and you know, Maybe change, change the gray. Yeah. I think that when I look at it, I think of a grayed out button as one that you can't click on. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe make this one a color or something that's different the next yeah. step as a secondary call to action. Yeah, or um, maybe that's supposed to be a, a field. Yeah. Yeah, so um, because we are having those questions, I think that maybe revisiting would be nice, yeah. um, just to kind of clarify. All right, step mm -hmm. two. Step two. So once again, we have all of the fields. Oh, and see, it, it, it was a field. So go back up, you notice how this field, and it's a field. Oh. I wouldn't have guessed that it was yeah, a field. Yeah, me neither. So, oh, yeah. I see. You see? Okay, yeah, so now that I see it's this, clickable, it's clickable, but same. it's a field, so you got it. it's oh, like an input okay. field. Okay. Oh. See, yeah. Andrew said, I think it's an input field. You're right, it yeah. is. So Lindsay says, I think disabled button is unnecessary personally. I would think it would be only be there when it is an option, but maybe this is a micro interaction. Yeah. yeah. So that's another discussion. Mm -hmm. Should a button appear and disappear? Like, I, mm -hmm. I don't know if yeah. that would be best mm -hmm. practice because 
what if you know the button <laughs> you, you're just wondering like wait what did i do to make yeah. this appear mm -hmm. so consistency is important mm -hmm. transparency is important yeah. keep that in mind Lindsay. yeah um all right so we have the fields interesting so it says yeah. what why do we have a toggle there the toggle oh, yeah. standard one to two weeks I'm a little confused that what flash. this is, if this is referring to flash one to two days or standard. Is it the way that, the direction that the circle so is So this is to? you choosing, you choosing, you, um, or you know, how long it's gonna mm -hmm. take. This looks good. Yeah. It, it just needs a little bit more tweaks, but I think yeah, it, it looks really, really good. good. Yeah, really clean and mm -hmm. simple. And then you have payment, you're mm -hmm. done. This is yeah, great. place order. And then Thank a confirmation, confirmation, which is so important. Your order, print and receipt, continue. And continue shopping. Nice. This is great. Yeah. Awesome job, Kushil. Thank you again. Thank you for so submitting much your for submitting your portfolio. Yeah. We really Yay. appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And let's go to the next one. This is Naman Jain, who is a Naman student Jane. from India. Wow. It looks so good so far. Yes. I mean, just from definitely. I'm gonna give you a follow. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Um, let's see, does he have a resume on here? He does not have a resume, but okay. has a GitHub and LinkedIn, and LinkedIn. So that's good. Let's read his About Me section. Yeah. I'm always fascinated by great designs and artworks, and I'm always inspired by them. It isn't just my hobby, but my passion to design stuff that makes people think, even if it's just for a second, and appreciate its depth and the artist's message. That's really I love lovely. That. Yeah. That, was, that was a very mm -hmm. thoughtful About Me. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It tells us. It shows your passion, and, and your you can clearly see that from your work yes. that you're very passionate about design. So that's awesome. Um, this looks amazing for a student. A like this thing. is a lot of a lot of stuff. Like you have Kristen a bunch Stewart. of projects. Scroll. This is so cool. Yeah. Nice. Let's see if he has some uh, UX UI yeah. projects. Ooh, Iron Man. Nice. What's going on there? I'm click, not sure. it. click it. Click it. Yeah. Click it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a trailer? A Did trailer? you make, oh. Should Click we it? play it? Uh, yeah. I don't know if this one. It's two minutes. Iron Man 3 Bang Bang Mix Trailer. So you do some video. <laughs> oh. Oh. So did you put the trailer together? Yeah. Looks this is interesting. Yeah. 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 Cool. This oh, is cool. The whole thing, but yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Let's see. Let's okay. check out another project. Yeah. This is cool. Logo designs. Is that a um, logo design? I think nice. so. Yeah. This is great. There's so much detail in this and all your work as well. Yeah. yeah. So what I would like to see is I would like to. Are you? Oh, so player. No, Let's player, click on yeah. player. So what I would like to see is what kind of design are you interested mm -hmm. in? So in your about me section, I would like to, to know exactly what it is that you'd like mm -hmm. to do. So um, do you want, are you a UX designer? Are you a UI designer? Are yeah, you a graphic, graphic designer? Design. Are you an yeah. illustrator? Mm -hmm. So from your portfolio looking at it, you're still kind of trying to figure that out, mm -hmm. which is yeah. good. I mean, yeah, I like good. that and you're a student. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's totally normal. Um, it takes time to figure out mm -hmm. what you're passionate yeah. about. And I definitely would recommend that you focus on what you're passionate mm -hmm. about. Yeah, exactly. Um, but if yeah. once you're getting closer to start looking for a job, it's very important not for you to kind of give yourself a title, but mm -hmm. at least in your description, explain what is it that you're interested yeah. in and then target your portfolio to, to that. Do. Or if you still want to be available like for freelance to mm -hmm. do other things like, yeah. you know, videography and like logos, illustration, yeah. then I would at least have multiple uh, projects for what you're interested in, in getting a job in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's great. So that we have options, yeah. yeah. So when somebody's looking at your project, uh, your portfolio, they actually can see multiple examples mm -hmm. of your work. Yeah. All right, so it says nice. PI music, music, Pi music, music, music player. player. Music player for all mm -hmm. your groovy mm -hmm. needs. Recreation That's... of the Pi music player interface design. I like how the... they're stuck yeah. to like horizontal. So you have an index. Okay, cool. Oh, look, oh. he might have an interaction oh, on yeah, the bottom. Let's see. Let's see. Hi, music player. Nice. Did you make this yes. an XD? I know. Yeah, let us know if you used XD mm. for this. It looks really good. Yeah. 
I like the blurred oh, background. Oh, look at that. I love yeah, the blurred the background. The drag is oh, beautiful. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> and Dua Lipa. This nice. is gorgeous. Imagine Dragons. Mm -hmm. I love Imagine Dragons. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I like how you have the back button and users can go back. Oh, look oh, at the, the menu. menu. Cool. Nice. Search. search. Nice. It's really important for music mm -hmm. apps, I think, to have a search. He has, he has a secondary menu, mm -hmm. which is good. Yeah, kind of like how you yeah. had on the Fortnite mm -hmm. app. Yeah. Nice. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, it looks like he put a lot of thought into multiple flows, yeah. which is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, a lot of detail. But it works. It's really good, and I like I like how you included the video. Oh, and there's a GIF for splash nice. screens. The flash, uh, the splash screen is is very important. Mm -hmm. A lot of people take it for granted, yeah. but it is it gives it it's gives the, first the app impression. it's first mm -hmm. impression. But it also gives the app some time to kind of load, mm -hmm. where you're not just like worried mm -hmm. what, like, what just happened. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if um, some of the things that we're working on at work right now is. Um, loading screens, mm. what do they look like? Mm -hmm. So that you don't feel the time. Like let's just say the, pr oh. you know, the product is taking, I don't know, three, four seconds to load. Mm -hmm. How can we fill that time um, with information that are of value to you yeah. so that, you know, you feel like your time is not being mm -hmm. wasted. Yeah, right? that's an awesome point. Yeah. And a good product that actually th that does that is, is Slack. That's what I was noticed. thinking of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when it's like loading, they have, like, they have the quote. They have quotes. Yeah. They they make you feel good. Like yeah. sometimes like, oh, we're so happy you're mm -hmm. here today. Yeah. Like exactly. today's a good day because you're here. Like mm -hmm. I, I yeah, love Yeah, I like, like that, that too. It makes you feel important mm -hmm. as a user and like that. It makes you feel happy. Think you want to come back. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, definitely oh. important. Scroll down. Scroll down. The color like the palette colors. is pr is really nice. Yeah. I like the use of um, the way you use red. The shades mm -hmm. of red, they don't feel like danger. Mm -hmm. They feel yeah. more like excitement. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know? Exactly. So good job yeah. picking your colors. Yeah, I like the colors too. And then you explained mm -hmm. a little bit, which is nice. Yeah. And then Typography. the type. Nice. Gotham is a beautiful font. Yeah. Uh, I had a Gotham phase like really? three years ago. I was <laughs> using funny. it for everything. Nice. I feel like we all have phases yeah. with certain <laughs> typefaces. Yeah. Oh, Andrew's saying you can also add your own load message on Slack. Oh, really? That's cool. That's impressive. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> okay. Home screen tracks. This is nice. Nice. Playlist. I like your secondary menu. Mm -hmm. I like that you're, you know, you're taking advantage of um, the actual screen that mm -hmm. the user is on yeah. instead of them scrolling. Like that's a good way mm -hmm. of, uh, a good use of non-scroll. Like how yeah. do you pack in as much information mm -hmm. as you can without yeah. having the user scroll? Like, yeah. Endlessly scroll mm -hmm. for yeah. something. Everything Which is all nice. right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So awesome job. Good job. And albums, nice. This is a overview. strong screen. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I also like how you laid out your project and yeah. like step by step and including a GIF with each specific screen is really helpful it's to break it down. It's very helpful, especially yeah. when you're working with like, when you're trying to display interactions, mm -hmm. I think it's important. Yeah. So uh, Voodoo Val is saying, don't forget, like if your portfolio isn't chosen this time around, mm -hmm. Christine is up next yeah, in Howard? about five minutes yeah. with Howard, mm -hmm. and you guys still have a chance to do it. So yeah. make definitely sure you submit submit your yeah. portfolio. We love looking at your portfolio. Yes, your and work. I'm sure people watching like to look at other people's portfolios. I know I do, and I can learn a lot by listening to feedback for someone else's. So yeah, yeah and then so you know. Um, Wait, what's what's the name? Now, man, yeah. I think he, he, for a student, this project, this piece is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, it's impressive. impressive. So uh, keep up the good work. I would like to see more, uh, you know, UI 
UI uh, projects from you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think you have the, you have the knack for it. So yeah. you know, keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's impressive. Your eye for design is like is great. Yeah, really good. And one of the things that mm -hmm. we were talking about, like it's it's I think it's it's harder to learn design mm -hmm. than yeah. it is to build like the structures for yeah. apps. So, so having um, the eye is really important. It's really yeah. important, and the way you build that, the way you actually gain that, because that comes with practice, mm -hmm. is exactly. literally by continuing to do do do, mm -hmm. you know, and and open yourself to different different um, different design yeah, you know experiences, experiences. Yeah, just thank learning you. and yeah watching streams I love and practicing it. yeah you thank you so yeah, thank much you. for submitting your portfolio thank you, it looks and great Pichil. we mm -hmm. loved reviewing your yeah. portfolios and so be sure great. to submit your portfolio if you didn't get chosen this round for the next mm -hmm. segment you could get chosen and yeah. absolutely thank you again for joining us for all three thank days you i'm so, so sad it's for over. having me yeah, oh so my god good. i'm gonna yeah, miss I'm gonna you miss her. Yeah. oh this was great yeah, i love coming fun. back yeah. um i you know uh, the projects that i get to work on on adobe mm -hmm. live are yeah. you definitely my favorite projects yeah and you did such an amazing job in only three days thank so you. yeah thank definitely you. check out her it. project you'll put it on behance once you're done right thank you yes yeah. definitely so, yeah, give, me, be, give me a couple of weeks but yeah, yeah i will definitely have those up mm -hmm. um i will have the files uh, ready for you guys to download yeah thank you thank bye. you everyone thanks everyone yeah, take care thank have you. a good one you, bye, bye.